Ray William Johnson. <laughs> this topic just keeps coming up here. Just keeps coming up here. Now, Undertaker Freak had made a video about this yesterday, and I want to make a video about this, just helping to spread the message of what's really going on here and expand upon a few points that he brought up. Now, there's this channel. If you hadn't heard about it, it's called RWJ without RWJ. And the creator of this channel got in touch with me last month and he said, like, you know, he, he created this channel and, you know, he found a unique way to give you Ray William Johnson videos without having Ray William Johnson in them. And he explained to me that, you know, they're uploaded videos of the viral clips that Ray William Johnson shows. But the guy removes any time you get a chopped out cut segment back to Ray William Johnson to show his face making a zany face and over here over here I'm over here I'm over here like you know all that silly shit because it's so fucking funny he removed all that from the videos he removed any audio of Ray William Johnson's voice so you get a condensed version it's usually just several minutes long every week that Ray William Johnson released a video or every other day whatever the hell often he does it you would get that Ray William Johnson video shown on this channel without Ray William Johnson. I was like, that's actually pretty clever. And I went ahead and I helped promote this guy's channel. I put a bulletin about it on my YouTube and I also put a tweet or two about it and I was going to mention it uh, in videos here. I just kept forgetting to do so. but. The point being is a number of my fans out there probably have seen at least a video from this guy if you follow my Twitter or you saw it in my bulletin so you can verify uh, what was actually going on in those videos. The reason why I ask you, um, you know, someone to verify it is because none of the, these guys, none of this guy's videos are up anymore. The reason being, let me show you. On the screen is a screen cap that RWJ without RWJ got, uh, that, that he gave me. Uh, this screen cap is showing the privacy complaints, or the copyright complaints, I should say, that were given to him by, as you can see in this next screen cap, Ray William Johnson himself. Ray William Johnson filed copyright claims on a guy who all he did was show the viral videos that Ray William Johnson showed. How the fuck is that possible? If you're the little guy on this website, be sure to not do something that the big fish get away with because you will be punished. Now let's think about this for a second. In order to file that copyright claim, that means Ray William Johnson's personal copyrights or creation would have to be violated. Did that guy use Ray William Johnson's voice at any time? No. Did he ever show Ray William Johnson on the, on the video? N no, you never see his physical appearance in any way, shape, or form in any of those videos the guy uploaded. Did he show the same videos that Ray William Johnson showed? Yeah. Did Ray William Johnson create those videos? No. Did Ray William Johnson get permission to use those videos in his video? No. Do you see what I'm getting at, people? If you try and do something that one of the bigger fish does, you get punished on this website. <laughs> it's laughable. And they let the big fish file a copyright claim on something he just flat out doesn't own. He doesn't get permission to use those, to use those viral videos. He gets away with them under the guise, and I would love to see this go to court, under, under fair use of offering like a critical analysis of it because he's given his commentary because he's going whoa look at this guy hope he doesn't trip and fall boom he's down let's see that again kaboom kaboom he's down because he does that to a video he gets away with being a critic per se analyzing a video 
getting away with it under fair use through a loophole, which again, I would love to see hold up in court because he does not get permission from these people to use their viral videos. And he's a legit millionaire from it. But if you try and go through the same route, can't do it. Can't do it. Google's going to stop you. And they're going to let Ray William Johnson file claims. Now, to be fair, this was probably someone filing the claims on Ray William Johnson's behalf. I doubt he sits behind his computer all day and files claims. But who knows? Maybe he does. The point being is the claim was filed on behalf of or from Ray William Johnson himself. And all of this guy's videos are gone. And he's not going to upload more videos, nor, nor do I blame him. Why? Just, just go through this cycle of, you know, constantly getting videos removed on that channel or create another channel? Why? Why go through that? What's he, what's he going to do? Hire, like, a litigation team and take YouTube and Ray William Johnson to court with no guarantee whatsoever that he would win and have to pay the court fees out of his own pocket? Of course he's not going to do that. YouTube and Google know people aren't going to do that. So they're going to keep punishing the little fish like this guy. When the big fish wants to put his big foot down on him and keep him held down. It's bad enough these guys have to use misleading titles and fake thumbnails and titles with boobs and stuff. Maybe not so much Ray William Johnson, but a lot of the other top tier YouTube whores. It's bad enough that these guys have to do so much to hog the attention because they just can't get enough attention themselves. They have to just keep scratching and clawing to get as much attention as possible. And the little guys don't even stand a shot to get even out of the gate. They can't even get traction. Because they will be stopped. Unbelievable. This shit, this shit really is just unbelievable. A guy is filing copyright claims on something that he doesn't even own the copyrights to. the fuck is the matter with this picture? <laughs> oh, I know some people might be like, well, if you didn't support Ray William Johnson, why did you support this guy who's basically taking other people's viral videos and not get permission from them either? Well, I did it just because he's spiting, he's just spiting Ray William Johnson. He did it to spite him. He didn't do it with the thing of like, oh, I'm going to be a ridiculous, wealthy millionaire like Ray William Johnson. I'm going to get millions of video views. No, he did it to show you that you could do this and he could create his own little condensed version of it that people were enjoying, even though Ray William Johnson fans flocked there and said, oh no, you're rip off, you're stealing Ray William Johnson's content. Really? Really? Stealing something stolen? Is that what you're saying? Isn't that a double negative, which means the person that stole the stolen product now has proper ownership? I don't Anyway. Uh, it, it's ridiculous. Every single, every single one of this this guy's videos got flagged by Ray William Johnson or someone on Ray William Johnson's behalf, and YouTube upheld it. YouTube allowed it to go through. And that's a damn shame. That is a damn shame. It just goes to show you. Once you have power on this website and someone tries to do what you do, you can and will get stopped. Un fucking believable. <sighs> That's all I got to say about this. I know Ray William Johnson fans are going to be like, Stop hating Ray William Johnson. He's our Lord and Savior. Get back to me when the first digit of your age is at least a two and tell me how funny you think Ray William Johnson is. <sighs> Have a great day, folks.